Hello to all of you dear ones, welcome to your program. Today I want to test a steam pressure tank. In this test, we transfer the generated steam pressure to a turbine and this is the beginning of the work, and then we will complete it. The volume of the tank that I chose is 13 liters, but in order to create a vapor pressure space in the tank, I have poured 1.5 liters of water in it. Low water makes the water in the tank boil faster. This is a metal tank that can withstand a pressure of approximately 30 bar. This example of a tank exists in all countries, and now I have a question for you, and which one of you can recognize what this tank was related to? I want to see how many of you are very smart and have experience in technical work. I bring the camera closer and you can see that I have placed a pressure gauge with a range of 16 bar on top of this tank. Now the system is not activated and I turn it on. You can see the shadow of the metal tank on the surface of the solar dish, which is moving towards the center. And the vertical DC motor is running. Now the focus of light is on the tank. I welded a copper pipe from the top of this tank and connected it to another pipe with a pipe connector. This pipe continues in this direction and finally reaches these gate valves, the output of which is a steam exit nozzle, and the diameter of its exit opening is 1 mm, which is very large. Now the valve is closed. I already did an experiment in this regard and used this small ball valve. Plastic is used inside this ball valve sample. And because the steam coming out of the nozzle has a temperature of more than 200 degrees Celsius, that's why it caused the plastic inside this valve to melt. The gate valves that I put now are old gate valves without plastic and they do our job. Well, now we wait until the tank pressure rises. Now 20 minutes have passed and you can see that the tank pressure has increased to 5 bar. A strange sound comes from the tank, which is not loud. Now I open the steam valve. At first, the distilled water comes out, and then the steam comes out with high pressure from the nozzle. Of course, we must use a nozzle that does not disperse the steam coming out of it. I close the valve, but you can see that steam is still coming out, and this is the remaining pressure after the valve. I open and then close it again. Half an hour has passed now and the tank pressure is 7 bar. I open the nozzle part and we want to see what volume of steam comes out of the valve. Now I open the steam valve. The steam pressure was really good and it was very hot. By opening the valve, you can see that the pressure gauge shows the pressure drop and now the pressure is close to 5 bar. The nozzle that I used is a thin copper tube that I welded to the end of this tube cap, and the diameter of its inner opening is 1 mm. And in order to make the diameter of the nozzle outlet smaller, I have used a syringe needle and will install it at the outlet of the steam valve. Well, 
Let's go to the turbine. Making a turbine is very difficult and requires special tools and skills because the turbine must be accurate and very balanced. Many people don't have access to steam turbines and I don't want to use steam turbines that are difficult to get. But a good option is to use these wind turbines inside a vacuum cleaner and you can separate it from scrapped or burnt vacuum cleaners. This turbine is very light and well balanced, and I have placed one of them on an iron plate like this. I have placed two pointed screws on both sides which are adjustable and create the least friction in the rotation. Now we simply place it in front of the nozzle and open the steam valve. The nozzle should be in the correct direction and the steam outlet hole should be of a suitable size so that the tank pressure is balanced with the steam coming out of the nozzle. I think its rotation speed is not well known in the video due to the number of camera frames, but its speed can be recognized from the sound. Now the turbine is working and we have pressure balance, that is, the amount of steam production is equal to the steam output. It has good rotation power and I cannot stop the rotation of the turbine shaft with my finger and it really has acceptable power but it is still not suitable for turning a generator and more work needs to be done, which we will address in future programs. I don't know how long it will take for the water in the tank to run out and the turbine to stop, but it will certainly not be less than an hour. I must say that the power of steam pressure of hot water is very different from air pressure, which both have the same pressure. You will realize this when you work with very hot steam pressure in practice, and then you will know that the power of steam will be much more than air. I hope this video has provided you with a good experience, bye until the next video. Most videos on Fixed Focus channel have their own innovation and you won't regret watching them, thank you for subscribing and liking.